Introducing Mr. Money. Send your money instantly. Top up your airtime instantly. Pay your bills instantly. Airtime money instantly. Send your money instantly. Safety is guaranteed. It don't matter how far it is. It reach safe and quickly. Pay your water bills immediately. And also pay for DSTV. Or top up airtime real quickly. Send your money instantly. Top up your airtime instantly. Pay your bills instantly. Airtime money instantly. Hi, I am Mr. Money. And I bring you Airtel Money. The fastest, safest way to send money. Pay bills, top up and more. With Airtel Money, you can do more instantly. Airtel Money. Simple, secure, instant. Apple Max. Take it to the max. Want to just get out of town with your friends and family? Are you having a corporate getaway and have no adequate transport? Then this here is what you need to listen to. A brand new 35-seater Yutong luxury bus is now up for hire at an affordable and negotiable rate. It comes fully equipped with aircon, TV for your relaxation, music soothing your trip, and DVD players to give you variety. Book now by calling 0955 0966-0977-844-141. What makes the new Yo-Yo Chipsy so unique? 100% natural ingredients. Nothing artificial. Just a pure experience of freshness. Chipsy potato chips. We know you'll love them. Hey girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to Prime TV Main News. To present it, my name is Daniel Tongam. We we'll take a look at what is making the headlines. Government sets up three morning places for the late President Michael Sata. Edgar Lungu refutes reports suggesting he refused to be PF presidential candidate. Arabi describes the late President Asata as a true friend. And in foreign news, South Africa plunges into load shedding darkness. These and other interesting stories right after this.
Hana the news in detail. Following President Michael Sata's death, government has set up three mourning places in Lusaka. The places include the government house where the late President Michael Sata's relatives are being accommodated, the showgrounds and Belvedere Lodge. But all the three venues have been recording low turnout of mourners. We have more in the following report. Following President Michael Sata's death, government set up three morning venues. These include the government house, the official residence of the vice president, where later President Michael Sata's relatives are being accommodated, the showgrounds and Belvedere Lodge. But all these venues have been recording low 10 out of mourners. A check at Belvedere Lodge by mid-morning revealed that there were only a handful of PFA sympathizers and many empty seats while at the government house. Only a church choir was seen singing comforting songs with a few mourners in the set-up tents. Some activity was only recorded at the showgrounds where different Catholic choirs were taking turns and comforting the mourners. At showgrounds, government has set up a six tents, but most of them were seen empty. The first family is mourning their relative from State House. It looks like people have opted to follow the proceedings on television than physically going to these venues to mourn with others. Kalan Chima reporting for Prime TV News in Osaka. Body viewing ceremony for the late President Michael Sata has continued at Mulungushi Conference Center with the Defense Forces and military personnel paying their last respect on Monday. The ceremony started in the morning as Defense Forces, government officials and their spouses continued to remember Mr. Sata. The occasion was solemn as members of the public were also given an opportunity to see the late Sata. Some people lined up outside Mulungushi conference center as early as 808 08 hours waiting to view the body. President Michael Sata died last week in London and many people have continued to pay their last respect as splits within his ruling party grow over on who will take over power next. Hundreds of people have continued to pay their last respect to President Michael Chilufia Sata and today Doors to the Mlungushi Conference Center for body viewing were opened to the Defense Forces. The ceremony was solemn as the men and women in uniform walked to pay their last respect to their president. <laughs> Former President Rupia Banda was also present to pay his last respect to the late President Michael Chilufia Sata. Mr. Banda has stressed that during the time of mourning, there is need for people to put their political differences aside until Mr. Sata is put to rest. But you know, this shouldn't be the time for us to talk about politics. Let us do the needful, bury our President in dignity and in unity and in peace. I mean, our politics are always there. We can then proceed with our political activities. Today the gates were opened, not to the public, but to the men and women in uniform of the Defense Forces. They paid their last respects today to the late president, Michael Chilufia Sata. Reporting for Prime TV News, I'm Gwen Wheeler at Mulungushi Conference Center in Lusaka. Patriotic Front Secretary General Edgar Lungu has refuted media reports quoting him as having refused to be adopted as the party's candidate in the presidential elections, citing health reasons. In a media statement availed to Prime TV News by PF Director for Media and Publicity Brian Hapunda, 
Mr. Lungu says he has opted to remain silent on the issue of presidency to mourn the late president. Mr. Lungu says contrary to media reports that he is unwell, he is very fine, adding that he is not suffering from any illness as been suggested. He has explained that he will give his position regarding endorsement for him to represent the party in the forthcoming presidential by-election after the burial of Mr. Satam. On Saturday, Mr. Lungu plainly indicated that he only surrendered the instruments of power to Dr. Scott for the sake of peace. National Revolution Party has urged all Zambians that their leader, Kos Bomumba, has fully recovered from the time he collapsed when receiving President Sata's body. NRP Secretary General Hector Sondo says it is shocking that other people with selfish interests described the collapsing of Cosmo Mumba as funny when it was real and serious. He says the party is happy that their leader has survived and will continue to lead the party until it takes power. Mr. Sondo has stated that people speculating that Cosmo Mumba and the party were funded by President Sata to cause confusion in the opposition is a lie. He was speaking to Prime TV News in an interview in Osaka. There are a lot of tensions uh, before this nation from other people. They are saying maybe it was a drama, but really us as National Liberation Party, we thank God because our president, as we are saying, he has already assumed his uh, duties in the office. So really it is a blessing from God because we would have lost another person. Us as National Liberation Party, we are independent. We are an opposition party. But always I say this, it doesn't mean when you are in opposition, everything should be criticized. You see, even when we talk about uh, we as politi uh, uh, opposition political parties, there are alliances whereby this party and this party comes together. So as we are aligning with PF, and we really give the PF the the checks and balances and advice to the PF and we really thank because the, the PF government always listen to our advice. Three years after being ousted from power, former Republican President Rupia Banda has described the late President Michael Sata as a true friend. Mr. Banda says despite political differences he had with Mr. Sata, he considers him as a true friend who was there to support him. He adds that at a time when his passport was confiscated, Mr. Sata was kind enough to give him back the passport to enable him attend medication in South Africa. Mr. Banda indicates that the late Sata will be greatly missed by everyone as he played a critical role in ensuring peace in the country. He was speaking in an interview with journalists when he paid his last respect to the late president, Mr. Michael Chilufia Sata. Like indeed, I'm sure it's made all of us sad to see the body of a very active citizen of our country and some of us an active friend, one who was always buoyant, always ready to give us a good laugh and to see him helpless in a casket of course overwhelming and I'm, I'm very sad and for me like for you it's a bit too much we've been going through this kind of thing for just too often so I'm very sad indeed we now go for our first break join us for more interesting stories right after this Introducing Mr. Money. Send your money instantly. Top up your airtime instantly. Pay your bills instantly. Airtime money instantly. Send your money instantly. Safety is guaranteed. It don't matter how far it is. It reach safe and quickly. Pay your water bills immediately. And also pay for DSTV. Or top up your airtime real quickly. Send your money instantly. Top up your airtime instantly. Pay your bills instantly. Airtime money instantly. Hi, I am Mr. Money. And I bring you Airtel Money. The fastest, safest way to send money. Pay bills, top up, and more. With Airtel Money, you can do more instantly. Airtel Money. Simple, secure, instant. 
girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. Welcome back. Former Zambian ambassador to France, Lily Monze, has described calls for a younger leader as discriminatory. Ambassador Monze states that as Zambians prepare to elect another leader, they should look out for one who has the heart for the nation and not based on how old someone is. Ambassador Monze says the nation cannot only be left in the hands of the young people alone as they will still need elders for guidance on many national issues. The former envoy said this in an interview with Prime TV News in Lusaka. Several stakeholders have been calling for a younger leader to take over as president President saying President Sata should be the last order leader to rule Zambia. I believe in senior citizens because I know that uh, the grey hairs have something to offer. I know there is a talk now that no only a young person should be the president, uh, Sata should be the last of the old group. Let the people choose whoever is able, if we think that this person has something to offer to bring stability and development to the nation. And uh, uh, veteran freedom fighter and uh, Zambia's uh, first ambassador to Nigeria, Reverend Isaac Mupasha, has warned people threatening the peace and security of the nation through their selfish desires to take over power by all means. Reverend Mupasha says it is worrying that several people are already positioning themselves for presidency even before the late president has been put to rest. He has advised uh, political players to put uh, politics aside and mourn the late president with the respect and honor he deserves. It is now we are peacefully doing it. There is no conflict. I don't know with other people who think that maybe they have a chance to be the next people to lead. Those may be people to bring a disturbance, but uh, I think unselfish feelings should not be accepted and it will be a sad thing if that, a thing, if that happens at this time. Um, we are at present, we are just have to look forward to see how best we can meet the requirements of our own country. Artists in the country have been urged to unite and work together in composing songs that will help bring mourners and the nation in harmony. Kings Mumbi, popularly known as Kings Malembe Malembe, a gospel artist, has asked artists not to be divided but unite to allow Zambians mourn. He says music has a way of soothing and bringing people together even in such times that Zambia is in. Mr. Mumbi has also called on the youths not to be moved by people that do not mean well for the country but should be able to stand for what is right and true. He was speaking to Prime TV News in an interview in Osaka. 
and so in these times I'm also calling the artists to come on board so we can do a song that will give direction that will create the atmosphere of peace in this land it's only music that can do this can do that because I know after after this you may sense the few tensions here and there but but if musicians can come together together and do one common song that will direct the nation so as youths that we should not do we may differ in in, in, in groupings could have had more group here so but where to volume and go wala panga wa yako mumunanko is not the solution that's what we that's not zambian so never should be used ne, never should you allow someone to pay you to come and to go and assault someone never should you allow that zambia is the bigger picture we have that we are going to go to kila we now take a look at how the kwacha is trading on the market against other major international currencies We now take our second break. Join us for more later after this. Apple Max. Take it to the max. What makes the new Yo-Yo Chipsy so unique? 100% natural ingredients. Nothing artificial. Just a pure experience of freshness. Potato chips. We know you'll love them. Welcome back and now in foreign news. Four major cities in South Africa have suffered a power cuts due to a huge loss in output after a core storage silo collapsed. Blackouts on Sunday were reported in Johannesburg, South Africa's economic capital, Pretoria, Port Elizabeth and Cape Town and could run through the whole week, the state-owned power supplier Eskom said. Eskom lost 1,800 megawatts due to a loss of capacity at its Majua power station in Mpumalanga in northern South Africa. A crack in a silo that held more than 10,000 tons of coal on Saturday caused the loss. Tsidiso Matona, CEO of ESCOM, said the incident would worsen an already tight system. South Africans with access to the internet took to social media to express their outrage with their outages. And now finally in our news, the army took over in Burkina Faso after President Blaise Compaoré's resignation has prompted protest in the capital and international condemnation. Thousands of people gathered in a square in the center of Ouagadougou to denounce the army's power grab. 
gunfire was also heard at the state television headquarters in the capital, according to a report from the Reuters news agency. Comparos, 27 years in charge of the landlocked West African country, ended on Friday following two days of violent protest against his bid to change the constitution to extend his rule. We monitored Al Jazeera and we have the following reports. Twenty-four people are now confirmed dead after a boat sank off the coast of Istanbul. Rescuers are searching for up to 20 other people in waters north of the Bosphorus Strait. The boat was carrying people thought to be migrants, mostly from Afghanistan. The Coast Guard, divers, a helicopter and local fishing boats are involved in the search. Burkina Faso's military has vowed to install a new unity government as it tightens its control over the landlocked country. The UN is threatening to impose sanctions if the army doesn't hand over power to civilian rule. The military seized control on Friday after the president resigned. A court in Bangladesh says a third senior member of the Jamaati Islami party will face the death penalty. Mohammed Kamara Zuman had lodged an appeal after being found guilty of war crimes during the 1971 War of Independence with Pakistan. Funerals are being held after at least 55 people were killed in an explosion on the Pakistan border. Two groups linked to the Taliban have claimed responsibility. It happened as a crowd was gathering to watch a military ceremony at the main link to India. In Iraq, 45 people have been killed in the past two days in bomb attacks across Baghdad. Most of those killed were Shia Muslims preparing for the religious occasion of Ashura. There were car bombings in the neighborhoods of Saadia and Sadr. Organizers of elections held by pro-Russia separatists in eastern Ukraine say Alexander Zakhanchenko has won in his region. Zakhanchenko was already the unelected prime minister of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic. But the EU says it will not recognize the votes, describing them as obstacles to peace. Listen to that roar. Daredevil Nick Walenda has this completed a high-wire walk so between two skyscrapers in Chicago. Now, now, as you can see, he didn't have a safety net beneath him or even a harness. He walked more than two city blocks uphill while suspended more than 50 stories above the Chicago River. What a feat. And as we conclude the news, we take a look at what made the headlines. Government sets up three morning places for the late President Michael Satam. Edgar Lungu refused reports suggesting he refused to be PF a presidential candidate. Arabi describes the late President Sata as a true friend. And in foreign news, South Africa plunges into load shedding and darkness. And that's just about what we had on the news. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been Daniel Tonga. Enjoy the rest of our programming. Bye-bye for now. Hey girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real Cause you look so free, so let's chill Have a drink with a guy like me Apple Max, baby You need to give me Apple Max, baby A quality product from Californian Beverages
Potato sticks. Freaky fries. Get that awesome crunch. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mr. Money. Send your money instantly. Top up your airtime instantly. Pay your bills instantly. Airtime money instantly. Send your money instantly. Safety is guaranteed. It don't matter how far it is. It reach safe and quickly. Pay water bills immediately. And also pay for DSTV. Or top up airtime real quickly. Send your money instantly. Top up your airtime instantly. Pay your bills instantly. Airtime money instantly. Hi, I am Mr. Money. And I bring you Airtel Money. The fastest, safest way to send money. Pay bills, top up and more. With Airtel Money, you can do more instantly. Airtel Money. Simple, secure, instant. <laughs> 